My name is Amalia. I'm a DJ from London and a radio producer. I have a show on Threads Radio called Ripe and Ready. Sound system culture to me has pretty much shaped what London is today and what London culture is known for. My earliest recollection of sound systems, so my uncles actually, they used to have um, sound systems when they were younger. Um, I remember hearing stories about it, going to visit them and just seeing like, like booths and booths of speakers and like turntables and records and stuff. And then aside from that, obviously going to carnival. I went to carnival from a really, really young age. My mum always used to take me and my brother and we'd always see family there and friends. And I'd always be like mesmerized by the dancers and like their full get up. Yeah, it's, it's literally, I just love it so much. It's my favorite time of year. It's just the best. <laughs> my first early influences in kind of electronic music was dubstep. And obviously that's got a very bassy, weighty sound and I always associated that kind of sound with the sound systems that would happen at Carnival. Like a lot of the music I play now definitely has that kind of dub, reggae, uh, dance hall influence, like transcending into like garage and breaks and that kind of ravey stuff. There's definitely been a revival in some genres which are heavily influenced by sound system culture. Like for instance, UK Garage, there's definitely been a resurgence in that recently. Jungle's definitely making a comeback at the moment. Moment, which is wicked to see and there's so many sick producers and DJs that are coming out especially women which is amazing to see it's nice if you particularly in a city like London just to see the melting pot like develop obviously the music and the culture side has such an important part but it does have such a like kind of racial standpoint part as well that is really important and obviously since what happened last year with Black Lives Matter I think it's really important to understand that part and how important the foundation of Carnival actually is. There's still a long way to go in that instance and like whilst the sound of Carnival in terms of like garage, jungle, reggae and dub is still being celebrated to this day like there's still not a lot of black producers, there's still not a lot of black female producers so like it's just good to remember the roots of it and that's why I think it's so important because like they paved the way for us to be making this kind of music and celebrating it. My name's Amalia, I'm playing at Costa del Carnival at The Cause on 28th of August. Make sure you get down there from midday till 11pm. Uh, wicked lineup, get your tickets. Rastafari Kana, I and I, conduct I and I, self, dignified me.